Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hey guys, Zot here. Recently with the new patch came one of the biggest updates to an essence so far, and it's been heavily underlooked. Vitality Conduit was changed so that it now scales its effects based on your versatility. This change, whilst it might seem minor, actually buffed the essence to be without a doubt the strongest healing essence in the game. In this video, we're going to be exploring Vitality Conduit, how its minor and major components work, when it's good to use, and what healers should be picking this essence up. So let's get into it. So to kick things off, let's take a look how Vitality Conduit actually works. So let's look at its major effect. The major is a 45 second cooldown on usability that you cast on an ally or yourself. This will then every 0.5 seconds transfer health to the target from the highest health ally within 30 yards. If this target then reaches full health in six seconds, it will jump to the next lowest. So essentially how this works is a targeted long range spirit link. You use it on a target and then they will continue to gain health while somebody on your team loses health. Whilst the minor effect of this essence is the same thing, but just a passive version that procs consistently throughout a game, draining health from the highest target and giving it to the lowest, whilst then giving them a small absorb shield. It's also worth noting while this essence won't break crowd control, it continues to work whilst you're inside. So if you use this on example a polymorph, you'll continue to give your health to your teammate, but not lose any yourself. Okay, so why is this essence overpowered? Well, currently almost all healers have some form of passive healing working throughout of a game. Paladins have their Beacon of Light, Druids have their Ysira's Gift, Monks have Renewing Mist, Shamans have their Totems and Chain Hills, and then Priests have their Atonement. This means the constant pseudo Spirit Link effect is going to be happening throughout the course of the game and then, for the most part, be passively outhealed by your standard self healing effects. Meaning, this essence is going to equate to a lot of mana free healing throughout the course of a game. This makes its minor effect insanely strong when facing comps who like to do single target damage. And with the meta right now being mostly cleaves or heavy crowd control compositions like Rogue Mage, it then enables this essence to truly shine. Not to mention after the buff, the numbers it puts out as a minor are completely insane, often being one of your top sources of healing, even more so for healers that like to stack versatility. So shamans, discs and monks come to mind. Also, what makes this essence extra strong right now is the large amount of self healing classes are capable of. I mean, just look at this clip we've had in the background here. Throughout this game, Vitality Conduit's minor effect was Lontar's number one healing. And that's just the minor. So what healer should use this essence? Well, as a minor effect, I recommend every healer to use this all of the time. The pure healing output and strength of this minor is just way over tuned right now. And you'd be silly not to take advantage and use it in all situations. The major on the other hand is a little more niche, but still good on every healer. The major effect of this essence can be picked in two different scenarios. First is for when you struggle with single target healing. This could be on yourself or a teammate. So think Cleaves rushing you or a teammate down. This is especially good on classes like Restoration Shaman or Discipline Priest, who tend to lack single target healing output. This essence just then enables them to recover in situations where they wouldn't be able to. The second situation you should pick this up as a major is when facing heavy crowd control comps. So think for instance Rogue Mage, or well just mages in general. Those compositions that are be looking to CC you whilst killing your DPS. Now we know how this essence works and when you should pick it, let's take a look at how you should use it. The minor effects are obviously passive, so don't need any explanation. Equip it as a minor and let it do its work. The major on the other hand requires some thought process on when to use. Take a look here for instance, we see Mare playing RMP versus RMD, a matchup where crowd control chains often determine the game. As the enemy druid pushes in for crowd control, Mare directs his vitality conduit major onto his mage. Due to this, his mage gets healed throughout the enemy team's entire setup, even whilst Mare is inside of crowd control. 
if it wasn't for this major here, it could have quite have easily been the end of the game. And the best part is the major will be stealing health from the highest health target, meaning you won't have to heal through the spirit link effect as you'll be immune whilst inside of crowd control. Now, in this clip, we've got the other side of the spectrum. Zunyaki on the Disc Priest gets gripped in by Windwalker Death Knight. They pop all of their cooldowns and look to focus him down. To survive this, he directs his Vitality Conduit onto himself, quickly healing up the insane single target pressure that the enemy is putting out. Although the Vitality Conduit transferred a lot of health from his Feral, his Atonement's passive healing allows him to recover the rest of his team. And our third use of this major essence is when you're locked out on cast. Being interrupted on your heal can often mean the end of the game. Well, not with Vitality Major. As it's an essence and instant, you can use it whilst kicked, and obviously can't be interrupted on it. Zunyaki here gets kicked on both his Holy and his Shadow School, but no sweat, he has his Vitality Major to allow him to recover through the double interrupt chain, surviving the lockouts and living to see another day, despite the enemy team even using their Gladiator's Maledict. Okay then guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick update on the newly buffed Essence Vitality Conduit. If you're wondering how to get this Essence, be sure to look up our Essence Spotlight. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed this video.